I'm going to show you the, the longer way first, and then I'll show you the simplified way to do this problem. Okay? So the long way first, ladies and gentlemen, it says simplify. Let's get this out as a, um, let's not get this as a rational function, all right, or a rational expression. So to get this off a rational expression, we've talked about many different ways. You know, if you have a fraction on the bottom, you multiply by the reciprocal. When you had imaginary or irrational numbers, we multiplied by the conjugate, right? So that's the same thing we're going to apply. And we worked on this last class period. Remember when we had, um, we talked about, you know, what do you multiply in the bottom? We can do the same thing here. If I need to get this cosine off the bottom, I'm going to multiply by the conjugate of 1 minus cosine of y. So the conjugate of 1 minus cosine of y, Colton, is? 1 plus, one plus cosine of y. Right? So well, ladies and gentlemen, when you want to get something off of it, Taylor, you want to multiply by that conjugate. So it's going to be 1 plus cosine of y. So multiply that on the top and the bottom. All right? So now you're going to simply apply distributive property. And then here, when you multiply a number by its conjugate, that's the difference of two squares. So therefore, I have sine squared of y plus, actually, I'm just going to leave that. I'm not going to distribute your property. I'm just going to leave that out. So let's just keep that there. Sine squared of y times 1 plus cosine of y. All right? Then we apply this by dif um, difference of two squares. We're going to have 1 squared minus cosine squared of y. Well, 1 squared is just 1. Is everybody following me so far? OK. So now we have 1 plus cosine of y, and we have 1 minus cosine squared of y. Well, we see the squared, and we're like, how can we rewrite this as a trigonometric identity, right? Um, so right. So if we subtracted the cosine over there, we could say sine squared of y equals 1 minus cosine squared of y. Right? So we could say this equals sine squared. So therefore, we have sine squared of y times 1 plus cosine of y divided by sine squared of y. Well, sine squared of y divided by sine squared of y divides to 1. So we're just left with 1 plus cosine of y. Does that make sense? So ladies and gentlemen, when you have something in your denominator, multiply by your conjugate, and you can get it off. Would you guys like to know a little quicker, easier way? Yeah. All right. So we have sine squared of y is 1 minus cosine of y on the bottom, right? Can we rewrite sine squared? Yeah, we talked about sine squared is the same thing as 1 minus cosine squared of y, right? When you solve for sine squared, it equals that. So therefore, I rewrite that as 1 minus cosine squared of y all over 1 minus cosine of y. Now, you guys need to understand that this is a difference of two squares. This is 1 squared minus cosine squared. So therefore, I can rewrite it as 1 minus cosine of y times 1 plus cosine of y all over 1 minus cosine of y. So therefore, these two terms divide out to 1, and I'm left with 1 plus cosine of y, which is my answer right there. Okay, So there's a long and a short way to solve. Thank you.